In this video we are going to focus on product photography. I want to show you how you can make high-end looking product photography shots but outdoor with almost no equipment and very beginner friendly. The first product I'm going to shoot is this Fleur de Himalaya perfume by Rituals. If you're working outdoor for product photography, you have to be very creative by finding a good location to achieve your result. After some minutes of looking around, I found the perfect location to shoot this product. This is exactly what I was looking for, a clean and natural colored background of stone and it even has a crack which makes it even more natural. I am super happy that I found this spot. Since I want to work with light and shadow for this concept, the sun position of this spot is also very important to achieve the results I want to have. And this is also something I keep attention to when choosing the right location. Also the time of the day is very important when working with natural light. I have previously decided to shoot this set at noon so that the sun comes directly from above. I want to work with shadows and to be able to create this effect it is also important to have harsh sunlight. We are so lucky today that the light is exactly like I wanted it to be for this concept. The last remaining things are the props to create some nice shadows. Basically anything that makes a great shadow is okay for this set because from a shadow you cannot really see if you use a beautiful flower or just a dry stick. After a long search I found some interesting things that could make the shadows I want. To have less retouching work I always prepare my background by swiping away any existing dirt and cleaning the area I want to shoot in. After I placed my product in the set I'm lucky that I'm here with my assistant who can help me to achieve the shadows I want. But if you're alone it is also possible to hold your camera in one and a prop in the other hand. It might take some time to figure out the best position of the shadows and the best angle to shoot the product. But in the end I found some very nice perspectives and I achieved a very professional looking result with very less equipment and costs. I'm super happy with the outcome of this shoot and it was a lot of fun to get creative with the shadows. There are so many more creative options to do the set and because of this I created a Pinterest mood board for you. It is linked in the subscription below, feel free to check it out and get inspired. The next product I'm going to shoot is this Fates Body and Bad Mist from Rituals. I really like the green color in combination with the wood cap. And so I came up with the idea of doing a natural tone and tone colored concept for this product. When I think about green color and nature, I think about leaves. And so I tried to find a background with beautiful green leaves. It took me a bit longer to find this spot, but I really liked the leaves and the color of them is already almost the same than my product. When we take a look at the light, it's around 2 to 3 pm and the sun is coming not completely from above. This location is also surrounded by bigger trees which means that they cover the sunlight a little bit and make the light also softer. This is actually not bad for this set because in my opinion you can shoot this concept in any light situation, which means you can shoot it with any weather. Even a rainy day would look cool and moody in the pictures. When I started the shoot I realized that the leaves are a little bit higher so I had to build a small platform to place the product on. After that I placed some smaller leaves all around the product to close the gaps. In the shoot I played with a few angles and perspectives and I created so many different pictures without moving the product. Therefore I think this is a very beginner friendly setup everyone can recreate. Here are my results of this set and I'm super happy how they turned out. And the best thing about this set is that the options to shoot it are endless. There are so many leaves that have various shapes and endless color options. 
and to show you a few more ideas and maybe even inspire you to do the set on your own, I created a mood board on Pinterest. You will also find the link in the caption of this video. The last product for today's video is this perfume bottle by Dolce & Gabbana. This product and its color gives me beach vibes. So I will try to recreate that with no actual beach in my area. I knew that I needed sand for this set. And the first thing that came to my mind was a volleyball field in my city. This place is called Beach Mitte and it is located in central Berlin. But you could shoot this set in any sandbox or with just a bag of sand in your garden. So I think it's easy to recreate this set in any area. For this concept I wanted this sunset light feeling and this is why we came here in the evening. The sun slowly starts to go down and the light gets warmer. Through the light mood of your images you can transport a feeling to the viewer of the image. These warm colors of the evening sun gives a calm and feel good effect. And this is why I choose to do this set in the end of the day. I placed my product in the sand and tried out a few positions. The best thing about a product shooting in the sand is that you can change the set very fast and easy. So I played with the sand and the product until I was happy with my results. And I really liked how these pictures turned out. It's probably my favorite set of the day. And what do you think? Which set was your favorite set of the day? Let me know in the comments. And I also created a mood board for this shooting to get you inspired. And that's it for today's video. I hope I could inspire you and if you're recreating any of these sets, feel free to tag me in your outcome and I can't wait to see your results.